Hi everyone and welcome. This is Alex here of Angel Soul Blessings 777 on Etsy and I'm here to do your weekly twin flame messages for the dynamic um, for the week of September 29th through October 6th. 2019. I hope you are doing well and that you are doing wonderful for this upcoming week. And if you like my channel and all of my videos, I ask that you hit the subscribe button and the little notification button so that way you can get all the uploads of all the future uh, uploads that I do here on the channel as well. So um, that is the end of the. Also, if you would like a 20 minute angelic guidance reading for $17.77. It goes through the month of September. Uh, email me and readings are typically done within three to five business days and um, I greatly appreciate that. So um, let us get on here with the reading and um, we'll get started here shall we. And I think those are take care of all the house announcements and everything of that nature. And then, um, alrighty, so we're going to go ahead. I ask that you have your feet firmly planted on the ground. Have your heart wide open to be able to receive the messages and white a light candle to be able to receive. And I'm going to be tuning in empathically uh, during this moment of silence and energetically into the collective here and seeing what is going on at this time for everybody. So here we are. Right away when I was tuning into the collective for the Twin Flames, what I was really feeling was a lot of anxiety for this upcoming week. Uh, I really feel that this has to deal with um, the emotions that are, the twin is going through. I also really feel that they are anxious about returning. Um, I feel like a lot of them have thought about returning lately. And also, I am really thinking that I also am really hearing that it's about a time of not giving up before um, the twin returns. I feel like a lot of us have given up on our destiny, so to speak. And I really feel that Archangel Chamuel is coming through and helping with this divine union. And I keep hearing the word justice as well uh, when I tune into the dynamic here as well. Um, and Which makes sense because we are now in the full moon, the new moon of Libra. And that's all about justice. And I really feel that a lot of them are, a lot of things will be happening within justice as well. And I'm also really hearing all about abundance as well. So I feel like some of you are going to be, I am hearing that Archangel Ariel is coming through and really just um, focusing in on your coins as well and really bringing in the abundance and creating the life that you are desiring as well. And Archangel Michael is coming through as well and really helping you to have the courage and faith to be able to move forward at this time. So that is really a really beautiful message as well. So... Um, the deck that we are going to be using for today, as per usual, is the Diana Cooper Archangel Animal Oracle Cards by D Diana Cooper as well. So, uh, that is a really beautiful deck here as well. So, and we're going we're to take my clearing spray that I have. It is from Essential Oil. It is from www.enchantedbotanicals.com and I highly recommend this and I will leave all that information in the description box below as well. So um, definitely a worth it investment. So we're going to go ahead and spray the cards here. 
and spray me. And also, we're going to spray you as well. Alrighty, perfect. What does everybody need to know for the upcoming flames for this upcoming week? What I'm really hearing and that is and that the message that is really coming through is all about balance. And I really feel like this is all about having to do with balancing your emotions, balancing your heart chakra. Um, I really, really feel that this is all about really just um, allowing your emotions to be thoroughly balanced from the past and not reliving the past from a day-to-day -day perspective. I really feel that this is all about a time of being able to move forward at this time. And I also really am hearing that this is all about a time of forgiveness. Um, as also Mother Mary is coming in and she's really saying this is all about a time of peace. And having peace within yourself as well. So um, those are some of the messages that I was getting right away when I was tuning into the collective. What does everybody need to know for the week of September 29th through October 6th, 2019? Alright, here we are. What, what is everybody need? All right, so the first card here is as a shark. And what I'm really feeling from this card, what I'm hearing from the message of this card is all about being a leader within the dynamic as well. And this is all about uh, the twin flame dynamic as well. So this goes for the divine feminines as well as really being a leader within not only yourself and your community, but also being a leader within the relationship as well. Because whatever you do to take the steps to be able to heal the relationship and the dynamic, the, uh, the twin also has to be able to uh, take the steps as well to be able to move forward as well. Um, I'm also really hearing that there's going to be a lot of dreams within the next month or so. I'm really feeling that you're going to be getting a lot of downloads from the divine, from God, Jesus, the angels as well. And um, it is the message at the bottom of the card is lead as powerful, peaceful warrior. And it is with Archangel Metatron and Julie's. And also one of the things I'm really feeling is that it's all about a time of Allowing yourself to be present in the moment and not thinking of the past, but being present in the moment. I feel like a lot of us are holding on to the past as well and reliving that day-to-day -day hurt of when you and your twin separated and you, that needs to be able to be released and to be able to let go and to be able to be healed so that energy can be uh, healed and that your twin flame can be able to step forward at this time and it doesn't happen right away like that but um, it does take time for the twin to be able to um, match your level so it's not instantaneous that it happens but it does happen um, and it's all about having that faith and that trust as well so the other card here is that we have is the turtle card. And I always think what, I, what the angels are really showing me is all about the Finding Nemo movie. And it's all about, I keep hearing the message of cool. Cool, dude. Or something of that nature. I feel like uh, it's all about being cool w with where you are at. 
being, being cool with where you are and not being able to force anything uh, to come into, come into play. So uh, really just, I, I feel like this week is all about r really living in the moment and being in the present within yourself. And the message here at the bottom is be joyful and trusting and it is with Archangel's Jewels. So again, going with the flow of life, being present, and things of that nature are very crucial as well. So, oh, I love this. So, it is, the first message here is that we have Dove. And again, this goes back to what Mother Mary was saying, which is all about having that peace within yourself. And remember that, uh, the dove is also my symbol for the whole, the Trinity as well. Um, uh, and this is all about bringing peace within yourself and healing those emotions as well. I feel like your emotions have been unbalanced, and I really feel like this is the time of bringing your emotions into balance and into alignment as well. And it is all about, the message at the bottom of the card is spread messages of peace and harmony. And it is with Archangel's Bokipi. And this is a really beautiful message of bringing peace within yourself. And they keep pointing me to the heart chakra. So um, that is really what they are pointing me to. That needs to be worked on for this upcoming week as well. So the next card here is that we have Raven and it's all about magnitude. I keep hearing the word magnitude. So um, being grateful for what you have, um, being, being a magnitude for joy, being a magnitude for it's all about being that magnitude. I don't know how to put this into words. Is and just that being that magnitude for allowing your twin to be able to come forward at this time. I really feel like there's going to be a difference within the next two to three months. Is what the angels are really telling me as well. Um, as they keep showing me twenty three as well. Um, so the number twenty three as well is a very significant number that they are showing me, and um, the message at the bottom here is all about preparing for change, and it is Archangels Azrael and Bokipi as well. So um, really, just allowing yourself to be able to prepare for um, the this transition that we are going through as well and to be able to live in the moment as well as fully possible. So, and the last card here is that we have is Tiger, which is all about that grace and that uh, independence and really just being that, again, that magnitude, again, feeling that um, empowered within yourself. Uh, I feel is the word here that they want me to use. And this is all about, uh, this is the tiger card. And again, a lot of messages from the divine, a lot of messages from God, Jesus, the angels. And it is all about accepting your magnificence. And I feel like this is all about you being able to be okay with where you are at individually as well. And it is with Archangel Raphael. So... That is a beautiful, beautiful message as well. So the overall card here is that we have the whale card. And really what I'm really feeling, this is all about being in the present and living from day to day and allowing yourself to go with the flow of life and not even thinking of the future or thinking of the past and just allowing. And I feel like this is an important message because the angels are really repeating themselves and it is live as fully conscious being and it is with Archangels Mary and Jolie's as well so again it's all about going with the flow and a uh, good do what finding Nemo says and Dory just keep swimming just keep swimming with the flow of life so that is a beautiful beautiful message as well
And I also remember really hearing that uh, your twin is really, um, I have been thinking about the way that they have left you and that I feel like a lot of, when I tune into the collective here is I really do feel that a lot of uh, shame and guilt as well for the way they left things and they don't know how to repair the relationship as well. And I feel like you have been on their mind a lot lately as well. So um, that is really what I am really hearing. And I feel like for them, it's all about seeing things clearly in the dynamic as well. So let's start with the divine masculine here. So what is in the divine masculine's headspace at the moment? What is in the Divine Masculine's headspace? All right. So we have the Deer card, and it is all about being that leader, that um, working together in unison. So again, uh, being that taking that leadership role within the relationship and really being able to speak your truth and being honestly communicating your emotions and things of that nature. So... Um, they're in a place where they are really thinking about how they are wanting to be the leader in the relationship and really just being able to speak their truth. And really, I'm really feeling that they're, that this is all about them working together with their twin as well. So this is a really beautiful message. And it is trust in the support of the universe. And it is with Archangels Michael and Faith. So having faith within the dynamic and having faith within yourself as well. So that is a really beautiful message from the headspace. All right. And what is in the... Divine Masculine's heart space at the moment... All right, so again, it's sheep. It's all about acting with fortitude and cooperation. So again, inside working together as one. Um, I feel that twins have a great dynamic here on Earth, and it's not all about partnership and love. And you have a greater mission here on Earth than ever before. And uh, I feel like there, this has to do with the full moon that is going to be coming up. Uh, there's going to be something that is going to be coming within the full moon that um, you need to be able to release as well. And I also really feel like this is all about a time of justice. So um, act, and the message is act with fortitude and cooperation. And it is with Archangels Gabrielle and Hope. Again, that same message, and it keeps repeating over and over and over again. And what is the message that the twin, uh, the divine masculine, would like to say to the divine feminine? All right, so King's Fisher. I really feel that one of the messages that the Divine Masculine ha wants to say to the Divine Feminine is all about being patient with them and having that understanding with them. I feel like your t Divine Masculine is going through a lot. Um, I feel like this has to deal with um, some of the choices that they have made in the past. And also, I really feel that this has to do what the angels are telling me that this has to deal with a third party as well. So um, I really feel that um, 
being patient with them and how they are being able to separate from that third party because that is more of a karmic relationship and obviously you and your twin are going to be ending up together but you have to be able to fully surrender and let go in order for this to be able to happen and each learn your own lessons and I feel like this goes back to the um, cooperation as well and the message of when you two were together you both were obsessed with each other and you were really um, not following your life purpose and really it's all about living it learning to live independently and being um, in your life purpose at this time so um, the message at the bottom of the card is be patient and focused from the divine masculine and it is with Archangel's Pokipi as well. So, a beautiful, beautiful message. And I feel like if you haven't seen a message from nature as well, I feel like, um, uh, I really feel the angels are going to be sending a sign through, uh, the hummingbird as well. So, um, keep an eye out for that as well. All right, so... What would the Divine Feminine, what is in the Divine Feminine's headspace at this time? Alright, so we got the dog here, which is a really beautiful card. This is all about being joyful in the moment. And one of the messages that I was really getting when I was uh, tuning into the collective here was not to be able to give up before the blessings that are going to be coming forward at this time. I feel like a lot of you are wanting to give up, and I really feel like this is all about a message of being true to who you are. And, um... It is all about being disciplined in your home and community life. And it is with Archangel Serial and making that impact within the community as well. So, um, living courageously as well. So, all right. So, what is in the Divine Feminine's heart space at the moment? You can see that it's really matching up with the Divine Masculine's. Again, the, the parrot is all about um, wanting the divine ma masculine to understand what the divine feminine has gone through. And I really feel this has to do with what they went through in the separation phase and what the divine feminine was really feeling during that time and all the hurt that uh, the divine masculine has caused and really being able to wanting to be able to speak your truth and to be able to communicate as well and it is listen to intently to understand and it is parent and it is with Archangel Bokipi as well and I feel that like the message that the um, divine masculine wants the divine feminine to know is that they promise to make things right so And what would the divine masculine need wants to? What message would the divine feminine spirit? What message would the divine feminine like the divine masculine to know at this time? Again, this is all about communication and being balanced within yourself. And this is a uh, 
Canada as well. So the message at the bottom here is stay balanced and in your essence. So be, again, being true with yourself. And again, this is all about that being kind. And I really am hearing the message of compassion, having compassion for what your divine masculine is going through at this time as well. So that is really and having an understanding and being able to see things clearly at this time. And that is a really beautiful message. And it is with Archangels Mary, Jophia, and Sandalphon as well. So that is a really, really beautiful message as well. So as you can see, there it is really lining up here in the dynamic as well. So, um, and that brings us to the conclusion of the reading for today. And if you would like the September uh, special, it is the 20 minute angelic guidance for $17 and 77 cents. Uh, email me or I'll leave all my information in the description box below. And readings are typically returned within about three to five business days. And, um, I would like to have at least five that take advantage of this special offer. And you get a lot of messages as well. And it can be about the twin flame or any question that you may have as well. So, and I do talk a lot during the reading. So you'll get a lot for 20 minutes. So that is a really uh, awesome price as well. So, um, and if, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And God bless you. Angel blessings. And until next time, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful and happy week ahead. And I will talk with you very soon. Bye, everybody.